Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about a pin that I got on Fountain Pin Day, but that took a while to get to me. And that is the Benu Briolet Luminous uh, Blue. Um, I got this one at Applebaum. Applebaum gave people a really nice discount for Fountain Pin Day. I think it was 19%, which is really nice. Um, and um, it took a while to get to me because some other things that I ordered weren't in stock. The pen was in stock, so that was not the problem. Um, but I recently got this and I wanted to share with you how beautiful this finish is, um, how beautifully faceted this pen is, uh, and I want to share with you how it writes. Um, I hesitated about getting a Benu pen for a while because I like the way they look. They have very pretty finishes, like they have many, many pretty finishes. Um, but these are just pens with a steel nib, um, a Bach nib, and I was I was in a phase I was like, I want more value for money when it comes to the nib. Um, now, because I've used the Moon Man M100 and I know Schmidt nibs are good, I was kind of um, pulled over that uh, bump and um, I decided to finally get one. Um, now that I have one and I've seen them in real life and I've felt this pen, I'm afraid for my wallet. Um, but anyway, let's go look at it close up and I'll show you some of the other goodies that I got at Applebaum close up too. Okay, let's go. So we changed the shot and as I said before, I got some more goodies from uh, Applebaum. So aside from this very pretty pen, I got three smaller notebooks, three A6 uh, Lord terms, all dotted. I recently switched my journal method. Uh, from an A5 to an A6. I can show you that because I have my current journal right here. So um, this currently has a Galen cover on it because I really like the Galen cover, my initials, and then an A6 journal. And I used the Sailor yesterday. So that's why I bought some dotted notebooks. I'm currently using um, a lined notebook not very fond of that, so I'm going back to dotted. Um, so three small notebooks. I got this on Fountain Pen Day, and that is why they've also sent me an ink. Um, they were giving out uh, Lamy inks, Lamy bronze, I believe, and uh, Mont Blanc inks. And I believe if you spend more than 75 or 100 euros, you would get the Lamy ink. And I expected the Lamy ink because I did not spend that much money. Um, but I think they might have ran out of Lamy ink, so they sent me the Mont Blanc, and that bottle is so, let's take this off, so gorgeous. I know this is not a video about Mont Blanc, but I just wanted to show you the bottle and the color. This is not a color I would normally use, but uh, since I'm a teacher, I guess I could use it for grading. So yeah, there's a booklet in there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the beauty of the Mont Blanc bottle. Um, I also have one of the horseshoe bottles, which is also very nice. They're really good at packaging. So yeah, let's go back to the pen we were actually discussing, which is um, the Bennu pen. Um, and this is the glow in the dark version. Uh, I don't think I can show you that right now. Um, which is kind of sad, but the ends glow in the dark. I'll try to find some pictures of it and link them in the description because it is very funky to look at. And that glittery finish just makes me really happy. I try to sort of match my nails to, to the pen, but the pen is much uh, lighter. Um, but it has the same feel, in my opinion. So I haven't written with this yet. I haven't inked it yet. You unscrew the cap, then you have a Schmidt nib. And um, my the only other pens that I have with a Schmidt nib are the Moon Mans, and I really like them. I'm really glad. I'm really glad that they put uh, a silver colored nib on this because it suits the color of the pen. Comes with a converter. Um, yeah, I think we should go ahead and ink this. I'm not going to ink it with a Mont Blanc ink 
because I got an ink recently that I'm very excited about and that's a Sailor uh, 123. I had to get this from Japan on eBay. And this is a very funky ink. Um, it's like a gray purple, but it sheens green. I've seen it on um, Instagram a lot. And I've been fascinated with it for a while, so I had to get it. It's a tiny bottle. And it was, I think it's 20 milliliters. It was 20 euros thereabouts. So it is a very expensive ink. This is not a budget ink, but sometimes you get carried away. Uh, paper towel, screw their own converter. They cleaned this pen uh, because I've been bad at that. And in my experience, the pen does not perform as well if you don't clean it. So I did clean it. My thing. Ooh, that looks really weird already. Look, the chromatography of this uh, ink is gonna be insane. Super excited to use this. Like even smearing it on kitchen towel is super satisfying. I'm not editing this, guys. It's just the way it looks. It's amazing. Okay. Let's cut and grab the journal and write with this beauty. Gorgeous pen. Nicely faceted. Okay. Ready for the writing sample. So this is the Benu Briolet. Luminous blue. The luminous, I think it refers to the fact that this is a glow in the dark pen. Glow in the dark. It is a Schmidt nib. Um, this is supposedly a fine nib, but let's be honest here. That does not look like a fine nib. That looks like full on medium nib goodness, which I don't mind, but um, this is definitely not a fine nib. The ink is Sailor 123, which is so nice and funky and already very excited to use this. The sheen doesn't show as much right now. Sheen is hard to capture on video, guys, uh, and on pictures. But there is like um, an, um, an aura of uh, greenishness. It sounds super weird, but that's just what it is. What I was worrying about before actually using this pen um, is this step down. But when I hold it, um, it doesn't actually bother me because I hold it low enough that uh, it doesn't get in the way. If you hold your pen fairly high, I would be uh, hesitant to get this because the step down is fairly big. Um, but the nib, the nib is good. It's just not true to size. This pen really makes me happy. And I'm gonna really enjoy using this. Let's take a last look at this gorgeous, gorgeous finish. Um, and I can promise you more Bennu pens are coming in the future because wow, this is really making me happy. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video um, about me rambling about my goodies from Applebaum. If you have any questions about this pen or the ink I've been using, so the Sailor 123, don't hes hesitate to ask them. Uh, I'm always here for questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.